Hello guys, today I'm at Geylang. I'm at Lorong 41. For most of you uh, Singaporeans who know where Geylang is, okay, this is one of the places that I've been told where you can have a very authentic Singapore breakfast. Okay, I just ordered the breakfast set. You can take a look. Uh. Really, it comes with uh, two eggs or how many number of eggs you want. <laughs> you want to eat more, you can order more. But usually, I just order two eggs, uh, two pieces of toast. As you can see, it's uh, in the process of making. Okay, so the egg will be half more egg and you will be kind of watery, watery kind of. They're going to dig in. Uh, and uh, I tell you all guys whether it's really nice. Okay. So this is the traditional Singapore breakfast. Uh. So as I mentioned, there is like two, uh, what, quite hot, half boiled egg, and uh, two pieces of toast. Inside the toast, right, have uh, cheese and kaya. Kaya is this very sweet, generally sweet uh, pandan uh, taste. Uh. Okay, and then the butter, they they will have the frozen butter. That's the the beauty of this toast. So they toast it to a slight crust on the top. Mm. I like sweet stuff, so and the butter will just ooze up from the side. Wow. So, what do we do with the egg? It's how you open it, yeah? Okay, open it like this. Uh, you'll come out in a soft, watery, gooey form. How they make this is they just put the eggs inside very hot water and let it cook to a semi cooked form. This is perfect actually, it's really perfect. Just fine. Because you don't want the the whites to be to be too too transparent, that is like a bit undercooked. Or you don't want this to be too hard, like a uh, hard yolk that will be overcooked. Knock it and open it. You add, you add the condiments here. Okay, so you have your dark soy sauce. You can see right, this is light soy sauce. I prefer the dark one. I prefer the dark soy sauce. The dark soy sauce obviously is, uh, is, is salty and uh, you know you just you just add to your liking, right? If you like it to be more strong flavored, right? Add a bit more and the pepper. Give it a good mix, okay? So make sure the whole plate is well mixed. And some people like the yolk to be intact. I like it to be you know broken apart and mixed with everything else. But what you actually really need to do is to take the toast and dip inside. Ah, this is the authentic Singapore breakfast that we have eaten this from young. Really brings back the the memories, you know, from young. This is something we started eating. Favorite breakfast of all time. Mm. You cannot do without a hot drink, okay, or a coffee, maybe a tea. And what I have here is called kopi siu tai. Kopi in our Hokkien language. Siu tai means less sugar. In the in Starbucks form, my coffee shoes I will be is it long black. Or, I don't know actually. <laughs> I think coffee. Uh, I think Americano is the coffee O, oh, the dark dark colored one. Mine is have some milk, uh, less sugar. That's how I like it. My coffee. Very tasty. So if you're ever in Singapore or if you're looking for. Uh, a very old school traditional Singapore breakfast, right? Come to this joint. It's on 
Geylang Lorong 41. Okay, you won't miss it. Yeah, that's all I have. See you guys. Bye.